today I have an awesome dupe video for you and I want you to stick around to the end because I have a great fall recipe that I want to share with you. Let's get going. As I mentioned, this dupe is going to be from Target. These beautiful shelves with the black iron, they're $5.99 a piece. So you can see you can put them together or you can just put them separately. Well, the one from Target is $190, and I'm going to insert a picture of the ones that I have in my family room, and these are $190.99. I put these together by myself. They are so sturdy and so beautiful, and they also have a little bit of a vintage flair to them, and that's why I love them so much. Well, let's go on to the dupes that are from Walmart. Now, this beautiful Emery handcrafted ceramic bowl is on sale for $90, regular $129. It looks very high-end, as you can see, with those little handles, and it is beautiful. But we have a nice dupe. This one's just a little bit different, and this is from Walmart. The color is different. This one is... Um, the bowl is distressed and the color is taupe, but it has two little handles and it comes in at $12.74. What a deal. Now we're going to move on to a wood piece. This wood vase is gorgeous. It is a little bit taller than our dupe, but it has that organic look to it. it this finish is really flat, where the one from Walmart's going to be a little bit shinier, but this one is $159. Now this dupe from Walmart, like I said, is a little sheen to it. It's still very organic looking and it's smaller than the one from Pottery Barn. And the price comes in at $24.98. And as you can see, I saw it in store. And I'm sorry, I didn't get all the pictures, but some of the items were not in stock at this Walmart. Well, let's move on to a ceramic vase. These vases from Pottery Barn come in three different sizes. And they're on sale from $39.50 to $99. They were $49.50 to $99. Very pretty. Well, our dupe, this one, you all, I saw in store, and it is gorgeous. It is $12.98. Now, they only have one size, but this one is ceramic. And you all, it is beautiful. It's probably my favorite piece that I've seen from Walmart. Well, let's finish up with a velvet pillow. This is the time of the year to add those rich colors to your family room or even your bed. These come in at $39.50 to $69 on sale. They were $49.50 to $50 from Pottery Barn. They're very pretty. But you know what? Our dupe coming from Walmart still has all those rich colors that you could choose from. And you all, they're $17.99. What a huge difference. Well, these dupes are some of my favorites. Okay, we are gonna make buffalo chicken dip. And I know there's a bunch of different recipes out there, but I put my own little twist on it. And this is a fan favorite between my family and my friends. So let me go over what you need and then we'll start making it. You need two cans of chicken breast and it usually comes in chunks and we're gonna shred that. Then you need a half a cup of ranch dressing. You need two packages of cream cheese. And then you need some sharp cheddar. This is an eight ounce one. It is um, already, you know, shredded. You do not use all of it, but you can add it to taste. And then you do need an eight ounce of mozzarella shredded, and we will use the whole package of this. Now, before you get going, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So the first thing you're gonna do is get any type of frying pan and you're gonna put your chicken in it. And I've already shredded it up with a fork. And you're gonna put it on medium heat and you're going to let it cook. You don't have to touch it until you start seeing it sort of simmer a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and sort of mix mine around. And I'm gonna just put it on a little bit higher heat, but watching it just so it cooks a little bit faster for the purpose of this video. Once that chicken is already warmed up and you see some steam coming out of it, you're gonna take one of your eight ounce cream cheese and I take a spoon and sort of chop it up into sections because it just goes ahead and helps it melt a little bit better. So you just wanna fold your chicken into that and make it, you know, obviously smooth. And sometimes I'll like take my big spoon and smash it down, but you just wanna fold it until it all mixes together. 
So once that's melted in, you're gonna go ahead and take your hot sauce. Now, one thing I will say is I do it to taste. My family likes it more like medium. They don't like it hot, but if your family likes it hot, just add as much as you want. So I'm just gonna start off with just adding a little bit, and then I'm gonna mix it with the cream cheese and chicken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in. And we're gonna add a little bit more later on, but we're gonna start letting the flavor heat up. And like I said, just do it to taste. I've just sort of learned how much my family likes. So once it's mixed in, then you wanna take your half a cup of ranch and you're just gonna mix that in. And this is gonna help with the hot sauce too. Just sort of blend in with your chicken. Now this, I sort of just blend it in and just let it cook for just a little bit by continuing mixing it. Okay, so after I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my second cream cheese in here and we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna chop it up and then we are just gonna let it melt. Now make sure that you fold that cream cheese in really well. You don't wanna have any chunks. And I, again, I sort of just press down and keep folding. Now you're gonna see this starting to get thicker and I turn down the heat a lot. I'm gonna go back in with my hot sauce and just add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna mix that just like we did before. You could see the steam coming off of it. And ooh, you can smell that hot sauce. And just mix it up real good. It's going to start to bubble a little bit, so don't walk away from it. Just keep mixing it. Now, the last thing we'll do is take this shredded cheese. Now, this is eight ounces. I just go ahead and take a couple handfuls. You could add more cheese if you really like things cheesy, but I just take a couple handfuls, so about half of the package. And then you are going to do the same. You're going to just fold it in, and it doesn't have to be totally melted but I do like mine to melt as much as possible. You are gonna be sticking this in the oven, so if you don't have time or you wanna just leave it a little bit, um, you know, just sort of the cheese, I guess, sort of not mixed in, I guess is what I'm saying, but it does melt in pretty fast. So I've got this all melted and it is gonna be ready to go into the oven. Now I use any kind of glass dish that you have and then this is gonna be a very thick consistency. So you just wanna dump it in, see how easy it is to dump in and just take your spoon and sort of spread it around. So it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna take that mozzarella and I'm gonna sprinkle it around. And then after that, we are gonna put it in the oven. And I do use the whole package of this. I wanted to cover a pretty nice layer of the whole dish. So our oven is preheated and I am putting this in the middle rack and it should like look like this. We are gonna go ahead and put it in the oven, make sure it's centered. And then we are gonna come back in 25 minutes and we are gonna check this out. And the goal is to have the cheese be melted as much as possible and be a little round around the edges. We are gonna do just a little check-in. So we have about three minutes left and you want it to be a brown around the edges. You don't want it to get too brown, but you see how the cheese is melted on the top. We just want it to just melt a little bit more, but we don't wanna walk away because like I said, you don't want it to get too brown around the edges. Here is the final look. Again, it's a little bit brown 
around the edges, but not too bad. And I am going to use the party size scoops. And what's nice about the scoops is you can just dig right in. What I usually do is I'll sort of start with little ends, like take a spoon and cut into it. And then everybody just dips. It's really easy. And what's nice about the mozzarella, it just adds another layer of taste. And most um, recipes don't have that mozzarella. So I've added that and oh my gosh, my family loves it. So this is actually going to my son. He has a little fraternity thing tonight. So he asked me to make it. So this is a winner. I'll go ahead in the description box below, put the exact recipe down for you. Well, you all, that's going to finish it up today. I hope you enjoyed the dupes and the recipe. It smells so good in my kitchen right now. But I will see you back on Wednesday with another video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.